Kyoto is synonymous with traditional Japan. Having the highest concentration of cultural treasures in the entire country, this historic city is a must see destination for travelers hoping to get a glimpse of old Japan. A little over two hours west of Tokyo by bullet train, Kyoto is surrounded by mountains on three sides and is located 40 kilometers inland from Osaka. Laid out similarly to the contemporary Tang capital from China, Kyoto was the home of the emperor and the capital of Japan for over 1,000 years, and as a result, it developed into the country's center of high culture, politics, and craftsmanship. Although the city suffered damage many times in the past due to wars and natural disasters, fortunately, it was spared during World War II. Today, Kyoto's main attractions include countless temples, shrines, gardens, and other historic buildings, many of which are part of the 17 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Kyoto. The city is also renowned for its cuisine and crafts. Even if you stayed in Kyoto for a month, it would be difficult to see everything it has to offer. So here are our top five recommendations in Kyoto. Number five, Kyo Kaiseki. Kaiseki is traditional Japanese style high class or oat cuisine, which is served in multiple courses. Kyo Kaiseki is the Kyoto style of Kaiseki, which is particularly refined and focuses on highlighting the subtle flavors found in Kyoto's local seasonal ingredients. Each dish is carefully designed by a chef and presents a different aspect of Japanese cuisine. Usually, the meal takes between 1 to 2 hours, will include 8 to 12 courses, and will finish with a shokuji course, consisting of rice, miso soup, and pickled vegetables, followed by dessert. One of the best places to enjoy a Kyo Kaiseki meal is while staying at a ryokan in Kyoto. Usually a stay at one of these Japanese style inns includes this multi-course dinner which is served to you right in your room. If you're not staying at a ryokan, Kyo Kaiseki can also be enjoyed at numerous specialty restaurants throughout Kyoto. And during summer, many restaurants in Kyoto, including some that offer Kyo Kaiseki, will provide terrace dining experiences where guests are served outside on platforms built over flowing water. Two popular locations for terrace dining are along the Kamogawa River in central Kyoto and in the scenic Kibune Valley to the north of the city. Although Kyo Kaiseki meals can be a bit expensive, we think this traditional culinary experience is well worth the price when visiting Kyoto. Number 4. Arashiyama and Sagano On the outskirts of western Kyoto lie the districts of Arashiyama and Sagano, which have much to offer. This area was a former vacation spot for emperors, and the Saga Emperor especially enjoyed taking retreats here. Although it's become somewhat touristy, it's still very pleasant both in the center of town and in the more rural-feeling Sagano district. Some of the main attractions of this area are the beautiful Togetsukyo Bridge, especially during autumn, Tenyuji Temple, which is ranked first among Kyoto's great Zen temples and is part of Kyoto's UNESCO World Heritage Site, the famous Bamboo Grove, which is located directly next to Tenyuji Temple, and the Monkey Park on the top of the hill across the bridge. In the wooded hills north of the bamboo forest, there are many smaller temples to explore as well. To see more of this area in a unique way, there is also the Sagano Scenic Railway. This is a 25-minute sightseeing train ride which will take you through the beautiful Hozugawa River Valley. This ride is often combined with a Hozugawa River Cruise back to Arashiyama in a traditional Edo boat which takes about two hours. Number 3. Kinkakuji and Ginkakuji on the north side of the city stands one of the most recognizable buildings in Kyoto, Kinkakuji, also called the Golden Pavilion, whose top two floors are covered in gold leaf. It is one of the sites that make up Kyoto's UNESCO World Heritage Site and was originally built as a retirement villa by the highly influential shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu. In accordance with his will, after his death in 1408, it became a Zen temple, which it remains today. Now visitors explore the well-manicured grounds on paths that wind around the main building and past other attractions such as a tea garden and a few other temple halls. Interestingly, on the east side of Kyoto stands Ginkakuji, or the Silver Pavilion, which was built several decades later as a retirement villa by Yoshimitsu's art-obsessed grandson Ashikaga Yoshimasa, and which also has become a UNESCO site. Although never covered in silver, Ginkakuji became the base for contemporary Japanese culture known as Higashiyama culture, which had great impact on Japanese society nationwide and spawned many of the traditions that represent Japanese culture today, such as the tea ceremony, poetry, and garden design. Number 2. Kiyomizu Dera and the Higashiyama District Perhaps Kiyomizu's most eye-catching feature is the 13-meter tall wooden stage which projects from the front of the main temple building. During the Edo period, tradition held that if you survived leaping from the stage to the ground, your wish would be granted. 
However, now this practice is prohibited. Near the stage, you'll also come across the Iron Spear of legendary strongman warrior monk Bang Ke, which visitors are encouraged to try and lift. At the bottom of the temple grounds runs the Otowa Waterfall, whose famously pure waters are split into three streams. Each stream's water is said to have a different benefit. Longevity, success at school, and fortune in love. However, drinking from all three is considered greedy. Kiyo Mizudera is located in the Higashiyama district, which is one of the country's best preserved districts with numerous outstanding temples, traditional streets, and photo opportunities. Aside from the numerous shops, a few specific highlights are Kodaiji Temple, Yasaka Pagoda, Yasaka Shrine, and Maruyama Park, to name a few. Many tourists will make a half day out of seeing Kiyo Mizudera and exploring this atmospheric district. Number 1. Fushimi Inari Shrine Perhaps one of the most awe-inspiring places to explore in all of Japan is the Fushimi Inari Shrine, which is located only two train stops from Kyoto Station on the JR Nara Line. Although it is the head shrine dedicated to the rice god Inari of over 30,000 Inari shrines across the country, this location is internationally famous for the thousands of vermilion gates which cover the mountain trails behind the main shrine building. Each gate was donated as an offering by an individual or business. The larger the gate, the larger the donation. The most iconic section of trail is found where the path splits shortly after the entrance and is called the Senbon Tori, which literally means 1,000 gates. As visitors continue up the mountain, there are various rest areas, vendors, and side paths to explore. About halfway up is the Yotsutsuji intersection, which has multiple restaurants and also provides the best view of the city on the whole hike. Hiking all the way to the summit takes about an hour to an hour and a half. Kyoto is full of many more worthwhile locations, and we hope this top 5 list helps you plan an enjoyable trip. For more information about any of the places mentioned in this video, or to explore another region, click the links on the screen now, or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive, up-to-date travel guide firsthand from Japan. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more videos about Japan. Happy travels!